Surprise, bitches. I'm out and about. I had to go to Sobeys. Don't worry, I'm, I'm still going to go back and do the horn thing, but uh, I wanted to come out and check my headlight alignment. So I'm not really going to be able to respond to your comments until I get home. It's a cold one tonight, I tell you. So hopefully you're actually seeing some of this. I'll give it a minute before I head off. Chilly willy. Uh, let me know if you can hear me. I saw a ha ha. Who's that from? I don't have my glasses on. Hannah to his garage or something. You all hear me okay? Anyone hear me? Excellent. Right. I had to go out and play. I mean, it's the law, right? Everyone thinks I'm mad. What am I doing out here with my windowless car? Right. Well, let's head home. Um, it's going to be noisy when I'm driving because I'm going to have the heater on. So it's going to be really loud. Okay. Bear with me. Everyone see okay? Let's go home. Fan is going on now because it's freezing. Hopefully you'll notice less squeaks. I do have some speed bumps to negotiate. You know what, I'll suffer the cold, I'll switch the fan off. Wow, no clunks at all. Stop in case there's any cops. I really hope that's not a cop behind me. I don't think you'll appreciate that. Tell you what, this cold weather is brewing for the engine. Temperature's fine now. <laughs> Once I'm moving about, it's about 180 degrees, which sounds about right. So I think I was just being super paranoid. 
Well, they be careful around here, it's pretty icy. I just want to put the foot down all the time. Do I love a small block Chevy? worth of gas wasted. that garbage door opener. Uh. Here we go. You still with me guys? made it. Let's see if I've left enough room to get the door shut. Yep, that'll do it. There we go. Home sweet home. Right, who's here? Now that I can read stuff. Oh, hold on, my dogs are barking. Hello folks. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was awesome. You know I'm going to be an absolute nightmare in summer when the weather's a bit warmer. I'm just going to be floating it everywhere. I'm going to have so many speeding tickets. Or at least noise complaints. Whew. So did you notice there was a severe lack of squeaks that time? All that, uh, that rubber strip stuff I put everywhere is really helping. So now it's mostly just drawn from the exhaust because the, the rear mufflers are sitting just right under our seats. So once I get the sound deadening in the carpet, should all be good. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna catch up and see if anyone asked me questions while I was out and gallivanting. Uh, who have we got? Jersey Side Boy, Randy, Ted, old man in the shop, not built, not bought. Fifty-seven Kevy, Harnett's Garage, Jersey Side Boy, David, uh, Harnett's Garage, Jersey Side Old Man, uh, Snow Crusher, Skinny Cairns, Henry G, number one. Uh, who else we got? Old dude, Skater Border. 
Randy Duletto, Snow Crusher Cameron. Hi, Cameron. Hey, uh, teacher. You know what? I don't actually get cold when I'm driving. It's just when I stop. When you're driving, you're just hanging on for dear life. Uh, Edward. Uh, yeah, I think we're up to date, right? Thanks for joining in, everybody. So tonight, that only took 10 minutes. Tonight we're working on my big horn, Auga. Now, it was working before, but like the day before, the day before its safety test, it decided not to work and I had to install those little modern ones. Well, a single modern one. I've got the other one here because Ted says it should be like a twin set, like a two-tone. But I'd rather have this. If nothing else, I'd like this as kind of a, a show horn that I can use just to noise people up, you know? So all it is is power wire coming in and it just gets air through the body. So I guess I'm going to take it apart and see what's inside. I don't actually know if it's like a motor or just a big vibrator. Hello from New Zealand. Oh, you'll be feeling the heat over there, eh? Middle of summer in New Zealand. Right, so I will monitor the, the comments as I do this, but uh, it's basically one, two, three, four, five, six little uh, hex bolts holding this section to that section, so I'll, rip, I'll whip that off. Well, hopefully I'll whip it off. It's probably not been apart in like a million years. You know what? I'm going to warm up first. It's too cold. But I'm cold from being out in the uh, out in, out in the fun. I was going to say. So how's everyone doing? Anyone from Texas? I know it's been bad down there. Okay, so I'm looking for a. Uh, Randy, do you reckon I shouldn't take that apart then if it's a diaphragm? Because I might tear it if I take it apart. Oh. What? What's all gas? You really think this has got gas in it? You're winding me up again. I'm going to have to Google all gas just to see if you're taking them. I don't see all gas. You're winding me up. See, now I don't know if I should take it apart or not. Right, I'm just going to, I'm going to chat to people, right? Um, oh my God. Yeah, Cam, the car sounds amazing and it really goes. This weather, obviously, with the cold and the, the cool air getting into the car, but just wants to go. Some of that might be nice, but I think it was mostly just power that was making it lose traction. Okay, I get it now. I will gas. Right, okay. I'm Bill from Nebraska. How's the weather down there, buddy? Yeah, okay, I'll take it apart. I'll take it apart. Here we go. Right. Uh, I'll get my, my intelligent glasses. Oh, 
I might have to do this in the vase. Oh, no, there we go, not one. Let me get a clamp. So, Cameron has started, no, that was Turlow's garage, I'm thinking of, he's doing the, the Hemi engine. Uh, Cameron's working on his little truck. Considering he's working full time, he's doing surprisingly well with his wee truck. Cameron, post up a link if you want. I'm kind of busy anyway. That's better. So Oklahoma's cold as well. I thought Oklahoma was always hot. I thought it was like Florida. I thought it was just uh, sunshine and uh, tornadoes down in Oklahoma. Oh. I'll try my hardest not to stab myself. So did you catch that about the the engine running at like 180 when I'm out and about? It's possible that that gauge is absolutely fine. But I'm going to change the sensor anyway. Just to make sure. <laughs> I was laughing at uh, Ted's comment. You know what, I don't even know who Jimmy Hoffa is, but I know the reference. Yeah, Rusty Dreams Garage. I don't know if you'll learn anything, to be fair. Maybe you'll learn just to throw them all out. I know I could just buy a brand new one, but I kind of like the look of this one. It's got that vintage look. Oh, it's coming apart. Oh, it's coming off the it's coming off that bit. Oh, I missed one. Hey, someone bought a mug last week off the merch store but I don't get a notification of who it was so whoever had bought a mug last week thank you very much oh right do you want to see what's inside you ready inside you take this off I'm guessing that's a metal diaphragm, and inside is, is that shenanigans. I don't know what I'm looking at. So, uh, Ted, I read that as an onion boss. Thought he was a a heavy Italian farmer or something. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, it's a 12 volt, well, it was working with 12 volts. I don't know if that means it's a 12 volt, but 12 volts made it work. So, what do we do next? There's one single screw there. Do I take this screw out and then does this bit come off? Doesn't really look like it does. That spins. Right, so it, it must have some sort of motor in it, right? Oh, I got all dirty. Okay, so that, sorry, uh, Frank. Frank says it's an electric motor with a serrated blade making contact with metal diaphragm. However, if you look at that, that sits lower than the edge and the diaphragm goes over the top. So I'm not sure how that would work. Oh yeah, the motor, that definitely spins, look. Okay, I don't know how to get that off. There is a little screw in there. But it's coming from the underside. I'm a bit worried. I don't know if I want to go much further. Honestly, I don't see how that would make contact with the diaphragm if it's lower than that lip. It's not like a starter motor, it doesn't like come out. All right. Oh, it hits the screw. Right, so it hits that. Okay, right, okay. So there is a there is an adjuster. There's a, like a little <clears throat> flathead screw at the bottom of that with a locking nut around it, which would change the the height of this, right? Okay. Right. Let's move over to the vehicle with this and uh, plug it in and kind of hot wire and see if this spins, right? Right, you still with me? Okay. Uh, how am I going to do this with one hand? Because I need to, I need to earth this. Let me find a uh, let me find an earth wire. Watching this, are you? Well done. I just 
just need to air this out somewhere on this section here. The switch is inside the car, obviously. So, plug the power in. Ugh, that's the wrong size. Damn it. Ugh. Bear with me. I need a blue nail. Must admit, this wire's a wee bit cruddy. It's not going to be helping. Plug that in there, and now I just need to find an earth for for this somehow. I don't. It's a bit overkill, but it's all I can find in short notice. Amongst yourselves. Right, let's see if this spins. Can you see that? Let me bring you down a bit closer. Yeah. Right, let's press that one. It was getting power, it just wasn't doing anything because I could the lights were dimming when it was uh, when I was pressing the button. Oh Started turning there, didn't it? Let me turn the lights off. I know this would be much easier if I had a spare battery, but I don't have one. Well, it's working. Right, so let's take it back to the bench. Do, do, do. Give you some height. There we go. Right, so it was spinning. So it seemed to be struggling to start. It wouldn't spin without switching the lights off, so it needed every bit of power that the battery had. So how do I free this up? What do I squirt and where do I squirt it? What's a commutator? <laughs> Yeah, snow crusher. I, I really try not to scratch the paint. <laughs> Thing is, it's clear paint, so I wouldn't even notice if I did scratch it. Ooh, 
Oil, eh? What sort of oil? Just engine oil? We've got plenty of that. Yes, suggestions on where do I put the... I mean, there's a big hole. I could just pour a gallon of oil down there. But I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. All right, I do have WD-40. <laughs> <laughs> right, let me find the WD. Oh, I tell you, that's that's the winner. Somebody talks about electric motors as a commutator. That's pretty good. Right. Um, so just just spray this in everywhere, really, yeah? I'm waiting for a confirmation from the commutators. It's not worth doing the... Uh, the brushes, seriously. No what? Brake cleaner? Okay. Uh, actually, Ted, you sent me some stuff like that, didn't you? Hold on. I think it's, uh, I think it's, <sighs> nah, that's, that's not, that's not what I need to use, is it? Ah, it smells great in there. Anyway. Right, so I think we're going WD-40. I don't have, uh, I don't have anything else. And I don't really have anything to blow it with air. I'll just go, <sighs> I won't go mad. I don't think it will need much. Let that marinade for a, a few minutes. Yeah. Might even clean the inside. All right, uh, snow crusher. You say take the back off the case, have a look at the motor. Is it just this single screw? Is that the only thing holding the case on? Okay, we'll give it a shot. Ooh. I wasn't expecting it to be that big. That's what she said. Ah, right, okay. 
great. I'm going to have to snip that wire again. Right, so this is what's inside there. It's a bit um, rusty. The brushes look okay. Don't know if you can see them in there. There's nothing binding or anything. Nothing looks burnt out. Hey, try five, try, try, wow, try five guy. Goodness, couldn't see that. Oil, the rear bushing, just rust. Right, so basically I need to squirt some juice in there. Thing is, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel tight. Right, I'm going to use actual oil on the the bearing bits. There is that wee thing, my wee, yeah. my wee squirty can. Isn't it cute? Spinny spin. Oh wow, that's actually really freed it up. That's crazy. Okay, I will let that do its thing, give it a bit of a clean, and then reassemble and we'll have a working horn. The brushes do look to be brass, but it's hard to tell. I mean, they look fine from here, but how can you actually tell unless you take them out? Which I'm not going to do, because I really don't know how, how that all actually goes together now. Nah, I'm just going to clean it. Hey, don't worry about it, Randy. Makes a change from the wife. Right, I'll check the front diaphragm for cracks. Hold on, one thing at a time. No, the brushes aren't short. They are... No, they're fine. Trust me. I'm not going to show you because you won't be able to see. It's too dark, I don't think. You know what I mean? You can't... Oh, you can kind of see it there. One of them. I think they're okay. Okay, so that is... A bit cleaner than it was. Um, yeah, there's no cracks in the diaphragm. It's a wee bit... Should I sand this down a little bit just with sandpaper? It won't, it won't, it won't destroy it, no. Right, where's the sandpaper? Give me a minute till I find some sandpaper.
There we go. Well, I better not whistle that tune because Disney will probably copyright me and I'll get demonetized. Ah, it's probably too late by now. I've got a wire wheel uh, on my grinder thing. I might as well use that, eh? Yeah, something to save manual labour. I'm gonna get my gloves though, because uh, you know those little effers can uh, jump out and get you. Hopefully this won't be too loud for your, your little ears. That'll do it, I hope. Oh, sorry. So, oh, we're nearly there. Uh, I've got to get in the right spot. Now you're not watching. Right. Yes, yes. The amount of times those things have uh, flown off and got me in the belly. So always wear some form of eye protection. Right, so that is clean. That is uh, not as dirty. Tell you what, should I put a bit of grease on that, that cog? I am the master at making a mess, have you noticed? Gee, where's? Anyway, greasing the cog wouldn't hurt. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just a little dud. Yeah, might soften the tone a wee bit. Wait a minute, someone mentioned a cork gasket. Oh, is that what that... Ah, right, okay, that's what that is. That bit there. So it's got that all on the inside. Which I'm not separating, so... Let's reassemble then, eh? Thanks for joining in, Randy. We'll see you and I'll speak to you on Facebook very soon, my friend. I'll put that screw in first. Oh, that screw's got to line up with something.
This is going to be tough to line up. I have to rotate this and then put that really long screw in to meet there. That should do it. Might be able to see it from the bottom. Yeah, this screw here has to go through the back and come out that hole there. Wow, this is tricky. Come on, baby. Whose idea was it to take the cover off? <laughs> right. Got it. Hey, Mr. Red D. Uh, I got it. I got the car from a guy in. It's either Kitchener or Waterloo. But I don't know how long he had it. When did you sell it? Right, reassembling this diaphragm funnelly thing. Actually, I'm going to spray some WD down that uh, adjusting screw just in case I want to, you know, change it. Not a lot, just enough to loosen it up. Well, okay, that's interesting. Um, so, Red D Film reckons this might be his old car. Is did your did your car have a, a shotgun bullet hole in the passenger door? I'm waiting for an answer on the bullet holes. I'm still with you. Although, the doors might have been... Did your car have doors? Because he might have got new doors for it. And by new doors, I mean crap doors. a screw. Oh, come on. I'm going to screw down. Um, I need to check the floor.
Ah, I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine with one less screw. If I find it, I can add it later. Oh, I found the screw. It was still in the thing. Silly me. You know what, Red? Your uh, your car is probably in a barn somewhere, been totally neglected. I hate to say, because uh, I'm pretty sure I would know about it by now. Well, hopefully, that's the worst, because worse than that, you know, it could be, like, gone forever, which is a crime. We're nearly there. Nearly there. We can test this bad boy out. Just got the two in the bracket to go. I can't. I can't remember which way it went. Was it that way? Or was it that way? Uh, oh no! Guys, can you remember? Did I take it off? Did I take it off like that, or did I take it off like that? Weight over bracket. Oh, thanks, Diella. That was uh, that was good of you. So, so that way then. And this is why I need you guys to help me because I wouldn't have thought about just you know looking at the paint. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you are going. There. I did kind of grind a lot of the paint off to, to get a good earth ball, so it wasn't necessarily going to help. Now you're saying it's the wrong way. I said weight over bracket, well the most of the weight is in the motor and that's over the bracket, so that's what I'm doing, right? Yeah, I'm with Jersey side boy, it probably doesn't matter. Everything's oily and slippy. Get on. Right. Okay, we are reassembled. Yeah, DLR. I know I've got the video, but I can't watch it until I finish the live stream. Hence why I was asking for your assistance. Right. 
let's uh, try and throw this on the car. Come with me again. I need to take the old one off first. I'm going to struggle to get this on actually because the uh, I'll just need to use a wrench. Um, oh, I've installed other stuff since. Damn it. You know what, I'll just install it there for now. I'll do it properly later, okay? But I need this screw in for the for the earth. I mean, I think that's a three eighths I need. You still with me? Don't go anywhere. We're about to do the test. Be a total waste if you'd leave now. Ow. Keep catching my finger on something sharp. Right. Plug it in. Ready for the test? I always try and respond to people's comments, but it's fast and furious, you know. Everyone ready? Oh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Sounds a bit old and croaky like me. Um, okay, I think... I think I need to play with that uh, adjusting screw in the middle. But hey, success! A job well done, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> you know what, I might actually leave it like that. It kind of adds to the, the vintage-ness of it, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like a sick duck. Mmm. Oh boy. <laughs> I didn't expect it to sound that bad. <laughs> yeah, I better tidy this nonsense up again. Right, well that was fun. Where are we at? 71 people, thank you for joining in the stupidity. Yeah, what's gonna, what's gonna sound like a Toyota? And there's nothing wrong with Toyotas as long as it's a Supra. <laughs> right folks, we are at 901! I like to stick to my hour because you guys have got uh, Netflix to watch. 
or something. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> thanks for joining in tonight. That was a bit of fun. And uh, you know what? I probably wouldn't have taken it apart if you hadn't, you know, encouraged me. So thanks for that. Uh, remember, I've got a Facebook group for Scott Rhodes. You're welcome to join in and leave a picture. Uh, post a link to your YouTube channel if you've got one or upload a video, whatever. But I change the the header picture every Monday. So I do prefer to post the, a picture of someone who was in the chat the night before or two nights before. So if that's okay and one of you is on the Facebook group, I will add your picture to the top of the Facebook group. That was a lot of words, but you know what I mean. Okay, folks, I'm going to wait till everyone's gone. So, so bye. Thanks for, thanks for joining. 63, I'm going to count it down. 63. 62. You hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. <laughs> oh, Ted, before you go. I've been waiting two months now for the t-shirt I got you from uh, Teespring. Absolutely ridiculous. Two months to get a t-shirt. It's nonsense. Anyway, 59 we're at, 59. No, no, I'm, st I'm still here. I don't know why you're not hearing me. That's fine. I'll, I'll, if, if Snow Crusher, if you want to watch me tidy up, then pff, yeah. knock yourself out. No, actually, I'm using my phone data, so that's going to cost me money. Yeah, go and watch Dee Dee's Speed Shop, you bunch of splitters. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Right, thanks, everyone. Uh, see you in the next one, hopefully. Oh, I've got an interesting video tomorrow night. It's only like six minutes, so it's a bit of fun. Right, see you. Take care. Bye. Forgot to switch it off, didn't I? Ah.